What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here. And first off, open up with an apology video. Uh, uh, I've been sick all fucking week. I'm sick as shit. So that's why there hasn't been any fancy videos or anything like that early on in the week. Uh, I was lucky enough that I pre-recorded all the, the voting for the Connected franchise last week and backloaded them so that to, there was some content on the ch channel this week. Oh my god, look, I'm fucking still sick as shit. But I've been sitting around the house for like three days not doing anything. I was like, I gotta get a fucking video out. So let's do the results from the fan voting for our Connected franchise. Uh, also a couple quick little tidbits. So you saw at the beginning of this video or kind of what I'm talking about, that we did move the franchise to L.A. It's a little bit of a weird scenario because I needed to have our starting roster, our L.A. starting roster day one, so I'm pretty much playing this season in Oakland, but the team is moving to L.A. That's the best I can do. Um, but yeah, we'll look at the players that won all of your guys' voting, as well as we'll quickly look at a couple scouting, because scouting is going to be a huge part of uh, the connecting between me and you. You guys got to tell me who I should scout, what I should do, who I should sign, yada, yada, yada. So looking at the roster, punter is Drew Butler. Obviously, he's already set in stone. The best punter off free agents. Free agency, 76. Kicker was, again, set in stone. We're keeping Sebastian Janikowski, 86 overall, boasting, like, the biggest fucking lag in the league. At strong safety, you guys voted. It is Sean Williams who won. Uh, cut the backup from the Cincinnati Bengals, 73 overall. Very athletic, very big hitter. Uh, a little average in coverage, but obviously he is like 91 speed and like high 80s hit power, so he's going to be looking to light motherfuckers up. At free safety, it was a tie between Chris Clemens and Taylor May, so I threw them both on the team. Uh, I think Chris Clemens is much more well-rounded, obviously a lot better in coverage. They're both very, very quick, both over 90 speed, both have over 85 hit power, but Chris Clemens does possess much better coverage skills. Uh, but Taylor May is still going to be a beast as a gunner on, free eight, on uh, special teams. Looking to force some fumbles. Uh, the three starting cornerbacks you guys picked was Asante Samuel, Champ Bailey, and Dunta Robinson. Uh, the three that I just had for backups, Keith McGill, Chemney Chikwa, and Tommy Campbell. All three of these guys that I decided to keep are all over six feet tall. Got that Legion of Boom build. But obviously looking at this, the age of my secondary corner is going to be a huge area of concern for the upcoming draft and free agency. Um, looking at the right outside linebacker position, you guys voted Bruce Irvin. 83 overall, an athletic freak. Very happy to get him. Uh, in the real, he's coming more into his role with Seattle. He's drafted pretty much as a project type player, um, been only used up till this season, and just blitz packages and stuff like that. So he's starting to become an every down outside linebacker. So I'm going to be pumped to try to play with him. Uh, middle linebacker, you guys voted Wesley Woodyard, formerly of the Denver Broncos, currently the backup on Tennessee. Uh, again, very athletic middle linebacker. Uh, and obviously, the left, line, left outside linebacker didn't change. It's going to be Khalil Mack, 87 overall. Can't wait to use him. He's an absolute animal. Was one of my favorite players from this year's draft class. Uh, let's see. Defensive tackle, you guys voted Devin Still. You know the feel good story. His, his uh, daughter was dying of cancer. She got chemotherapy funded from uh, the Bengals, keeping him on the practice squad so that he can get a paycheck from them. Also, they donated like all the revenue from his jersey sales uh, towards helping her. She did uh, make it through. That's a great story, and now he's my starting D tackle. I figure that's why you guys picked him, as well as Daquan Bowers, who is you know kind of a first round bust. I think he was a first round pick bust for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So we're gonna try to get him and get him on the right path. Uh, right outside linebacker, or right end, you guys picked Dion Jordan from the Miami Dolphins again. Another you know guy with a first round bust tag around him. I think the quality and the talents there is just in the wrong system in, in Miami. So we hopefully we can get some success with him here. At left end, I guys asked you, hopefully to vote for Marcus Hunt. You guys came through. I can't wait to use this guy. An athletic monster, six foot eight, two hundred eighty pounds. Originally on the Cincinnati Bengals, I uh, can't wait to use him. Get the get after the quarterback. Uh, right tackle, you picked Philadelphia Eagle Allen Barbera. So a nice pick there. Uh, right guard, you guys picked Gabe Karimi. Uh, he fucking sucks. I'm probably gonna. I kept rookie Greg Jack or Gabe Jackson at left guard. I'm probably gonna start him at right guard. You'll see him in a second. But I guess you know for the object of this video, I'm keeping Karimi probably as a backup. Uh, the center stayed the same. I kept him over. Steven Wisniewski, 88 overall. Very, very good center in the league. Underrated. Uh, left guard, you guys help me out. You gave me Carl Nix, free agency. Uh, free agency, sorry, uh, 85 overall. And there's Gabe Jackson there, the rookie. St the rookie pulling in a 72. I'm probably going to start him at right guard because Kareemi's just kind of shit. Uh, left tackle, you guys voted for Mike Adams a lot. He got the most fucking, one of the more landslided votes. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's super popular in the internet community or what. 71 overall, uh, looking at this, left tackle is going to be another area of concern uh, for the upcoming draft. Uh, tight end, you guys hooked me up with Jermichael Finley. Fucking unprofessional, my phone going off while I'm trying to record. Um, but yeah, look, we got Jermichael Finley, he's going to be an absolute beast, I think. 
Uh, we have wide receiver. You guys voted Josh Cribbs, Alan Hearns, and Santana Moss as our three wide receivers. Obviously, Santana Moss, veteran presence. Uh, Josh Cribbs, 77, pretty much going to be a good special teamer. Uh, not exactly sure how I'm going to use him in the offense. I don't think he has the best of hands. And then you got Alan Hearns, who's having a breakout year in the real with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, probably because Miami Hurricanes offense coordinator is on the Jags offense coordinator. So Alan Hearns kind of uh, was very, pretty experienced in that offense. Uh, but yeah, wide receiver is going to be another area of concern. I think wide receiver and corner are probably gonna be my two biggest areas of concerns because they're so old. But uh, we'll, we'll give a little rocket for the first season. Uh, fullback Vonta Leach was guaranteed already. Uh, for the running back, there was a tie between Niall Davis and Drew Archer, so we threw them both on the team in kind of a smash and dash combo, even though Niall Davis is pretty well balanced between speed and his ability to uh, get short, convert short yardage plays. But Drew Archer will be my third down back uh, for screens and stuff like that. It's going to be fun to play with him. And, of course, the franchise player by another land side was Marcus Mariota out of Oregon. He is our franchise player, 84 overall, which is the standard for most first-round draft picks. Uh, we'll go into his uh, ratings, what I gave him. Uh, 90 throw power. We might have been a little too generous here. Uh, but, I mean, at the end of the day, he's at 84 overall. We have 90 throw power, 84 short throw accuracy, 85 medium throw accuracy, not 79 deep throw, 88 throw on the run, 77 play action, 71 awareness, and 88 speed. Those are pretty the only stats you guys need to see, really. Uh, for his speed, I judge him based off Calvin Pryor, uh, Terrell Pryor, who's actually my backup. Uh, Calvin Pryor, or why do I keep saying Calvin Pryor? Philly should have drafted Calvin Pryor. But Terrell Pryor ran like a 4.38, and they gave him 90 speed. Marcus Mayer has been clocked at a 4.42, so I figure 88 is pretty close to what he probably will have uh, after the, the combine in the reel. But yeah, so it's going to be pretty fun series. I know I might not be sounding super amped. Like I said, I'm sick as shit. I just wanted to get this video, so there's some new content on the channel. Uh, what else? You guys, you guys saw the relocation. You saw the roster. Oh, yeah, we'll do scouting really quickly. Obviously, actually, for the staff, I fired everyone. Dennis Allen actually got fired on the reel. I just picked up this some Turner guy. I only signed him in one year because, obviously, there's going to be a lot more free agency options at the coaching position. Coaching position, yeah, because that's a fucking position. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. After the offseason. So, I just signed a guy for one year. And I was lucky to land, like, the two best fuck, like, one of the best scouts who skipped but his scouting specialties, everything on offense. And then the, the world, world-class world regression trainer uh, right away. So, obviously, that's nice that I got those two positions pretty much done for the rest of the franchise. Um, let's look at scouting really quickly. Obviously, it's a little bit different because you can't scout the actual rookies because they don't have the draft classes imported. But uh, here are the guys that I've decided to scout already just from week one. Uh, we got uh, no quarterback. We're pretty much set with Marietta. No running back. We got good running backs. At wide receiver, I think that's going to be an area of concern. It's going to be hard to see where we finish this year. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. My team is, I'd say, average at best. Uh, we got a lot of low-rated guys in the 70s and stuff. So uh, we got the eighth projected uh, wide receiver. Or, a wide receiver projected to go eighth in the draft. And that is Deshae Diaz from Washington, Michigan State, 6'4", two, uh, 208. And then you also got the 18th pick uh, projected Taven Thomas from Florida, 6'5", 240, red zone threat. Probably going to be more of a Kelvin Benjamin build. Uh, no one at tight end. Left tackle is another area of concern. Like I said, we're going to need to get an upgrade, hopefully, over Mike Adams. So we got the 12th overall pick, Richard Ellis from USC. And we got the 21st overall pick, Jorge Vega from Wisconsin. Uh, I would probably assume this guy is actually going to be pretty good because Wisconsin, if Madden tried to be anyone realistic, Wisconsin always produces some of the best offensive linemen. Uh, we also got right guard, another area of concern. We got the second round, Tamaro Godfrey. Uh, right tackle, no one. I think the only other position we had was middle linebacker in corner. Yeah, middle linebacker, we got Denny Lynch from Miami. Uh, prototype and attacking 4-3. That's what I hope to actually get a coach that plays an attacking 4-3. Uh, that's what I like for my defense. And then we also got uh, 13th overall, Ja'Kari Stills from Wisconsin as our uh, other linebacker. And then for the corner, we got trying to get big rangy corners as much as possible because, like I said, I want to try to build uh, that as much as possible. The Legion of Boom from Seattle. So we got Killian Griffin from Ohio State, 6'1", 186. But he plays a base 3-4, so he probably won't fit in our system. Uh, then we got Sean Boyd from UCLA, 6'2", 195, playing in a hybrid, so that's maybe a little more realistic. Then we got Denalicious. It's outrageous. This guy's a outrageous. I might just draft this guy. He's the best fucking name, even though he's uh, probably out of scheme. Denalicious Spriggs from Michigan State. And then in a little bit later, we got Damian Guy from Auburn, 6'2", 190. So like I said, a lot of size here, but it's a little too early for me to actually use you guys for what you think I should draft or who I should continue to you know scout more into. 
But uh, as always, leave a comment in the comment section below with who you think what area, or at least what area should I go for scouting. I think it's pretty much down between uh, corner, left tackle, and wide receiver. But that's for you guys to interpret. So as anyway, here's the first episode. Next episode will be lots more gameplay and stuff. See you, Marcus Marriott to go where as well as everyone else. You guys voted for me for our connected franchise. So with that being said, it's your boy C4 saying make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode TV. You're already having this. It's gonna be a very very fun series. No one else is doing this kind of shit on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be looking for lots of feedback in the comment section below, so let me know how you like the introduction series. And smash that like button like it owes you money. Until next time, guys, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.